Hey guys, this is Kenjido and welcome to another MakeShot Pro video. Today we are going to try to replicate this dissolve effect. So when looking around at what's out there, there's a lot of Photoshop videos on how to do this and theoretically one could watch one of those and kind of figure out how to do it in PaintShop Pro, but if you'd rather avoid that translation, this video is showing how to do that same effect using a very similar procedure and almost pretty much the same kinds of tools, but all in PaintShop Pro. All right, so let's get to it. So to show this effect, what I wanna do is actually have the particles of the pig bank dissolve upward. And this composition, as we start with this stock photo, doesn't really accommodate that. So I'm gonna tighten it up and then I'm going to add some border, if you will, to the top to give us that margin and make it more of a portrait composition. Now in this example, if you were to look very closely at the border I've added, it's perfectly white, but the image itself has a little bit of non-white to the background. So to make that a little bit more homogenous, I'm just going to increase the light values of the original image just so that everything of that is background becomes completely 255. And I'll do this using the layers tool or levels tool. So now that we have our composition the correct orientation and the right dimensions, what we wanna do is separate the pig from the background. So to do that, we're gonna duplicate the layer and use the background eraser. I'm only gonna use the background eraser on the top because that's the direction that the particles are gonna flow. So I don't have to worry too much about how much separation I have on the bottom. And now that I've created that margin, I can just use the lasso tool to get rid of the rest. So because we're going to have to actually dissolve into the pig and remove some of the pig particles to be able to see through it, we're gonna to wanna to have a white background underneath the pig where it is in place. And so at the very bottom layer, we're gonna to need to erase that. And I'm, for simplicity, just going to use a normal paintbrush and use some white paint. Just because our background is white, if you had a more complex background, you'd have to use some of PaintShop Pro's other tools like the clone brush or other things to give a more realistic effect. But I chose a simple image so I can do this very simply. Now I'm gonna take the isolated pig layer and I'm going to duplicate that because we're going to need one layer to act as the particles floating in the air and one layer that represents the pig as it's dissolving. So now that we have our three layers that we wanna work with, we're gonna focus on the middle layer. And what we're going to do here is we're going to use the smudge tool. And this tool is going to be used just so that we can define the areas where we want the particles after it's been diffused and broken up to be in the air. And you'll see how right now we're just going to be painting and smearing a bunch of color all over but eventually that's going to be masked out to become all the different little pieces the diffused pieces that are going to be colored the same as the pig so right now we're very just generously smearing and note that the step is one and the rest of the size and everything is up to you on on how much you want to be able to smear all at once but the main the main idea is you do want it to be smooth. You don't want it to be choppy and, and have individual representations of circles when you're doing this. Note that it matters very much where you pull from to, to determine what gets smeared. And in some cases, there are certain parts of the pig that maybe you want and other parts that you don't. So you have to kind of decide as you go but really we're just trying to create that general shape of where the particles are going to live. So now that we have that, we're gonna create a mask and do a hide all. And then you'll see now we're going to use a paintbrush with a dispersion type of pattern. And as we paint white onto the black mask layer, that's how we're going to start showing some of that color through where the particles represent flying away from the pig. Now the brush I'm using is a dispersion brush that I got from Brush Easy. It's really a matter of 
experimentation and figuring out what type of pattern you like. When you have the mask layer set, by painting white, that's how you're going to be able to simulate the effect of those particles coming through. You may have to adjust the rotation so that the dispersion goes in the direction that you want it to, and possibly adjust the size to get your particles to be the size that you want them to. Note that if it's getting a little bit, if the particles are getting a little bit too dense, you can always paint black back onto your mask layer to reduce the amount of particulate in any given area. And this is really the stage where the creativity comes in and the eye or however you want to look at it, that it's just a matter of playing with it to get the kind of look you're looking for. And right now we're just focusing on the particles that would be floating away from the pig. And there will be some cleanup at the end as well. So next we want to now apply sort of a disintegration effect on the pig layer so that it looks like it's cracking and breaking up into little pieces. That way it'll blend into these other particles that we've already created um, that are like it's floating away. And this is where you'll see that the effect really starts to come together. So to do this, we need to select the layer which is the solid pig and apply a mask. But in this case, now we wanna show all. And now we're going to use the same brush, but with black. So we're painting black now instead of white. And what we'll start to see is by using this brush, we're starting to chip away at the pig and give it sort of that, that fragmented look. Again, another situation where rotation and size adjustments will come into play to get the effect you're looking for. If while trying to actually chip away at the pig, you're noticing that it's not actually creating white breaks in it, uh, there's a good chance, like in my case, that the layer underneath wasn't masked out enough, and so that layer of pig is showing through. So it's a simple matter of just going back to that other layer and applying the right kind of masking to get rid of the pig itself in the lower level that way you have full control at the upper level of how much pig shows through with the cracking and brush painting. And now we can get a better idea of how our disintegration effect is looking at the top. And you may need to go back and forth between the layers to get the smooth transition that you're looking for. So once you have a general capture of and shape of where the particles are going and how much the pig bank is actually disintegrated, now you can just use um, regular brushes to just kind of clean things up and give it a little bit more of the shape you're looking for. And you can use this once again, still using either the textured brush or maybe even just a regular default shaped brush. So now we have the general effect basically applied. You can see that using the paintbrush and the two masked layers, you get sort of the, the disintegration of the pig bank, but then also the diffusion of the particles in the air. The particles in this case are pretty small, primarily because of the brush that I used and the limits to how big it could be with respect to the image, but um, if you had your image smaller or if you were able to get a larger brush pattern, you could in effect have larger particles, if you will, instead of such fine particles. And the only thing left at this stage, now that we have the general shape of how we want the particles to flow, is maybe add a little bit more contrast just so that some of the particulate and everything stands out more than just very light particles on a very white background. So that's it. This is generally the procedure that's used, um, creating the layers to do the separation between the subject and the background, using the smudge tool to be able to blend the direction at which you want the particles to flow, and then essentially using masks and a dispersion type paintbrush to create the particle effect, both dissolving the subject and showing the particles flying away from the subject. I think overall, I'm kind of 
okay with how this came out. I wouldn't say it's something I would attribute to being the best version of this type of approach, but essentially this is just teaching the method. I think as more time is spent and maybe other brushes are experimented with, you could get um, better or worse effects of the same thing, but this is essentially how it's done. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. If you'd like to get updates, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.